This is the farmhouse where I grew up, where my father grew up, where my grandfather grew up, where my great-grandfather grew up. The main house was built in 1860. We got electricity in 1943 with the Rural Electrification Act. And now what I am doing is I'm removing the majority of the 1960 updates and reverting the era back to somewhere between 1920 and 1950. I'm going to show you each room in the order that I did them years ago. While I am no more of a carpenter or a designer than any member of my family has ever been, I'm doing it to suit me and my tastes. Today I'm going to talk about tub drains, specifically our tub drain. Now there's three kinds of remote operated tub drain stoppers. The first is the cable operated. The second is the plunger operated. And the third is the spring operated. Now there is a problem with each type. The cable operated, you can have the cable set up and rust from moisture. You can also have leaks around the cable. The plunger style, they are the hardest to work because you've got to have a tight fitting brass plunger that goes down the pipe. You get a little soap scum on it and they're very hard to operate. The third is the spring style with the lever. They work very smooth. However, the spring is noted for catching hair and gobbing up and preventing the unit from draining. Now here's the basic parts of the spring stopper. You've got a lever, either the old style rotary like we have, or it can be a new style toggle. Behind it is a cam that lifts or pushes down that threaded rod. The spring attaches to the bottom and that pushes down, which cams the stopper down to seal the tub. Now this is our 1957 drain assembly. It's open and then it's closed just by rotating that lever. We found that rotating the lever is far easier than the modern toggle style. But there is a problem with this style. The old 1957 spring, the coils are very close together. And as you can see, with a little rust on it, it holds the hair very, very well, which then plugs your drain and it won't drain properly. So we decided to purchase a modern version of our 1957 spring stopper. And as you can see, the spring, the coils are smaller and cheaper, but they're farther apart. And instead of having a single rod with a turnbuckle adjuster, you've got this plastic and uh, steel sliding thing that's supposed to hold those rods. And they've gone to the toggle. Well, we tried the toggle. We don't like it. The mechanical advantage is much better with the unit that we've got that, that rotates. You can see the cam assembly. So we decided to just keep everything except the spring. That spring is so tough we couldn't bend it to get it off the turnbuckle. So with a hacksaw, I cut the tip off and got it out of there. And then I bent the new spring so that it would go into the toggle and then with some vice grips, squeezed it together so that it would stay on the toggle. And it's easy to see the difference between the two springs side by side. It will not clog nearly as fast as the original spring. Now with the new spring on the turnbuckle, that whole assembly can be slid into the tub and the two screws installed and that part of the stopper is done. And because we had the new parts, we decided to slip in the new stopper and cam assembly. However, we discovered that even though it's supposed to fit, it leaks. It's, there's something different about our drain. So that got circular filed and we're using the old 1957. It looks ratty, but it's, it holds water. 
And here is a cutaway of the system as it's installed currently. The only difference is the top has the toggle instead of the rotating knob. The shaft goes down, the spring pushes the cam, and the cam pulls the stopper down and prevents the water from going down. Then when you release it, the spring comes up and the stopper is cammed upward and the water will drain. Now that you've seen how the tub drain is assembled and what we did to it to make it less susceptible to hair, I'm going to show you just exactly how it works in action. It's open. That's closed. And you can put a little water in. And it seals just like it did in 1957. The water you see coming out of the faucet right now is the drain from our diverter. That's normal for this system. Then you open it and the water drains away. And if you notice just how easy that stopper works with the uh, rotary type cam as opposed to the toggle, just a couple fingers opens and closes it. Even when the spring has hair on it and it is partially clogged, it still works very smooth. And that is our 1957 rotary spring cam tub stopper. Still doing the job after over 60 years.